Welcome back YouTubers, what I thought I'd do is a quick tip video on soldering. A couple of small things, first of all extraction. So it's a good idea to um, extract the fumes rather than trying to breathe them in. And because you're doing a lot of soldering normally with lots of cells, there's a lot of fumes. So what I've got set up is a 150mm ducting pipe, it's a 3 meter pipe, and that goes across and it goes up the wall here. I've just kind of got it sitting across on bits and pieces. I'll tidy it up later, but it's kind of a temporary thing. Now this goes across to a 150mm extraction fan. This is mainly used in bathrooms to extract um, when you have showers and bits and pieces. So it's quite a powerful fan. This one here, I'm not even sure that's going to show up. But uh, it puts out that the um, that fan is pretty, a pretty good one. So I'm quite happy with that. What I'm planning to do there is maybe add another piece of ducting to take it out the door. But I need to go buy some. So anyway, that's, that's quickly on the, dump, uh, on the extracting. Um, that works really well and it, it really does suck a lot of the, um, the fumes out much better than just a, a little fan. So highly rec recommend just doing that, especially if you're doing a power wall project um, and just there's just a vast number of cells to solder. The next tip is soldering cells that are hard to solder. So what I'll do is I'll just change the camera position. Right, so I've just changed the pack over just because this was a better example. What you'll find is that some cells will solder really easy and some cells won't. Normally I find the red ones solder nice and simply, it just seems to stick without too much of a problem at all. In fact, that was a bit long, but it normally sticks really quickly and really easily. Some cells, normally the blue ones I find, are really hard to get the solder to stick to. Normally because the, the tops of them are really, really shiny and it just doesn't stick easily. What I've found with cells that, just like that, that don't stick with, or the, cell, the solder doesn't stick to the cells, the best thing to do is grab one of these. Back to this tool again that I used on one of the other videos. I've changed the bit. This is kind of like a grinding stone bit. There's a whole raft of different bits that you can buy, and this is kind of what it looks like after you need to, or when you need to throw it away. But all I do is I grab this and I just scrape the top. So this might be a bit loud, but just. So if I do that, and it's nice and quick and it's a heck of a lot simpler than trying to use sandpaper. As soon as you do that and then you put some solder on, the solder sticks no problems at all. So if you get some cells that struggle with the soldering, then it is really easy to just grab that tool and to do that. So hope that's a nice little tip for you guys and I'll see you on the next video.